Have you seen what you've done to your new bumper? Like a it's a Dis Disney princess. Car. It's a Disney bumper. It it's all sparkly. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to TSBEC TV. Last time you saw this Discovery 2 on the channel was when we introduced it and it had a broken gearbox. And since then, Nissa has moved the working Ashcroft gearbox from his old other broken discovery <laughs> into this discovery to make it not a broken discovery and then all of the other interior uh, sort of mods and things yeah. you had going on uh, underneath the skin all those mods have been ported over to this discovery and it now is up and running it is but that means we can get on with the um yeah other heavier duty mods if you like and turning this into a bit more of an off-road focused vehicle like i think you want to do yeah. and i've just realized you can't actually see it on the 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 frame right now but right in front of us is a whole bunch of bumper parts where today uh, we're going to be fitting a brand new bumper to this discovery from hyena overland so here we got the complete kit that i brought off at hyena now a fun fact about hyena with the brexit and everything going on the design is from uh, england but the production is happening in poland which means if you are in the EU and you want to buy parts you don't have to pay this stupid fee every time you buy it because if you buy something from the UK we have to buy 25% or give 25% in their taxes to get it here uh, so it's a really nice deal I got around in it's a bit expensive, expensive but it's a really nice kit I reckon uh, that's a manual for putting all together and everything I got the bumper here which is in three parts haven't seen that kind of design before but the packaging was really small and nice so we got the left part we got the of course there's a winch bumper so we got the tray here for the winch and then we got the right one here i haven't got a winch right now to mount on it off i've got one in there but it's my dad's and it's been staying there for four years i don't know if he's going to use it or not but for now we're going to install it without a winch uh, and then i as well got the skid plate here going underneath it with the mounting off it together with these lights which are also an optional extra that comes uh, with the kit that i brought together with some other lights here so it's going to be plenty of lights and a bit of wiring to do as well uh, but other than that, I think the plan of action right now is just to assemble the whole thing on the ground, take out the old one, and then put on the new one, and then do all the uh, wiring in the end together. Maybe also do the washers here, because there are no holes made for it. But we could probably take these one out, maybe cut a hole for them on it here. Uh, we'll see how far we get today. And of course, as well as mounting this skid plate underneath as well. So it should be, it should be straightforward. The manual is quite nice. We got all the bolts and stuff uh, for it. So it should just be piecing together in no time. Now the main problem with it is that it doesn't really tell you what bolts you need for what. You just get these and kind of figure out where they need to be. And there are quite a lot of bolt holes in it. So I just kind of have to piece out and assemble everything here and see how many different ones I got uh, to make it all fit. So my theory is that uh, in the kit I get these two extra lights, so these are the fog lights I think and these are some spot lights I can wire up, uh, but they didn't fit in the groove they've made and I think it's because all this is probably computer cut and after that powder coated, so the powder coating made it just so I couldn't get these bolts as applied with the lamps in through the, uh, the bit. So I just took a Dremel and just went over, you can also do it a hand file, probably be a bit more prettier than that, but remember to coat it again in some kind of hammerite or other protective paint. Uh, and now this guy goes straight through. So these ones we are putting in now are for the uh, jacks that you can uh, get. Of course, there's no standard equipment on a, a Land Rover, but we also got these kind of holes in the my side bumper, I got my V8 in there, uh, where it's pretty much just a one-legged jack stand where you put a, you know, a rod in here and then you just pull up the old uh, car. And we got one on each side so we can pull up each side of the vehicle if you so see more so to have one of these uh, jack stands in there. But of course the Discovery does come with its own little jack, so I don't think I'll be needing these though, but they look cool. So 
So next up, we need to get the old one off, the old bumper. Uh, to get it off, you've got two on each side, bolts going through the uh, cross of the uh, chassis. And then on the sides here, we also got something holding in the, uh, the inline of the uh, wheel hub sort of thing, the inside of the wheel uh, base. So we need to get those off, completely rusted out screws, we might have to cut them. Uh, so right now we're just taking the front griddle off so we can get down to the four bolts down here, get those off, then we concentrate on the two on the sides and the whole thing should just slide straight out. So here we got a mobile sand blaster. Right now I've got some glass beads in here because I was sanding down some aluminium uh, and they get absolutely everywhere so you need to make sure that you go outside or got some wind to take care of it. But we're just going to try and do the outriggers quickly with this and then spray them over some sink paint to stop any rust from continuing. <laughs> Have you seen what you've done to your new bumper? Like a, it's a Dis Disney princess car. It's a Disney bumper. It it's all sparkly. <laughs> Galvanizing paint. Which is more or less just like galvanizing a chassis, just doing it liquid wise. Maybe not as good protection, but it's a lot better than normal rust protecting paint, I've been told. So we're going to be using this for now on. So the wiring, uh, I've only right now wired the uh, fog lights in. Uh, we've also got these LED spotlights here, but I have to do that another day because we're running out of time. Uh, I need to put a relay in somewhere over there and a button routed into the cabin. But I'll just use these uh, waterproof connectors on each side, so if we need to get the bumper off in the near future, we can pull it all the way out here, undo the two connectors and pull it out. And of course, I'll do the same on the uh, LED spotlights. But the fog lights are made so when I turn the button on in there, the fog lights will come on. I'll do another button for the LEDs, which I can use some kind of daytime running light if I want to, uh, to put those on. Or if you go off-roading, it gets dark, I can put those on. But now, next job, getting this guy onto the chassis rails putting one bolt through the top and then we need to put that guy on afterwards because he this bit up here connects onto the bottom hole here and one side is going to get connected to the chassis rail I don't think the other one is any space for it because it's a left hand drive which means the steering box is on the left hand uh, side of it and we only got one bolt here for it to go through here but I'm pretty sure three bolts would be more than fine to take a nice bashing of uh, some roots and rocks and stuff whatever we can do so this guy on, that guy on, front wheel on, done.
we managed to get through that whole install without uncovering more rust, fortunately, yes. unlike the previous disco. So this is, uh, I hope, the first of many more exterior <laughs> mods to come. And uh, you need a winch now. I need a winch now. Now it's just a hole, a gap there I need to be filled. Yep. Which will uh, continue to remind you every time you stare into that <laughs> void. But uh, yeah, hopefully the first of many mods. Uh, this was a little bit tricky, uh, fiddly, yeah. uh, the last part trying to get the bumper on uh, and some small adjustments to be made. I guess discoveries are not immune to the Land Rover one-size-fits-all no. plague. It's not just the fenders as we're now discovering and I'm sure we'll continue to discover. To discover. Um, pun not intended. <laughs> But uh, are you happy overall with the bumper? I'm quite happy, yeah. I just need to fit the number plate somewhere. But I know you can get a, an A bar as well going across here. That uh, could yeah. be an idea and then have it in the middle bit. But for now, I'm just going to make a bracket and drill two holes in here and here and place on top uh, for now because it'll probably be a couple of times before I, I get enough money for a winch to it. Yep. Considering the other mods I've brought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Got something. But, uh, it's definitely looking more purposeful. It is. It's um, looking a lot more sure. beefy now, uh, which I kind of like with it. Instead of the old one cracked and the saggy bit over that yeah. eye. It's no longer a family car. It's no. now. Uh, yeah. Look at me. Whatever it is. Yeah. So we can realize a lot there the mega. But otherwise, we have to two times a Dremel on that side just to make the chassis rail fit onto the bumper itself, and then as well as the uh, LED lights here on the sides, which is not working right now. I need to do the wiring and put a button inside the cabin to put those on. Uh, but again, I'm pretty sure that was just a powder coating where then the holes will probably fit the first time, but after powder coating there, the, the paint over it and then made the bolts couldn't go through. So we just quickly dremeled that through and painted it again. But other than that, everything just went on. But we have to see with time uh, how all these uh, nuts and bolts are looking. I'm really hoping they're stainless. Otherwise, it's going to be look quite ugly after <laughs> next uh, when we reach next summer. Uh, well, we will have to put it through its paces over the next year. Definitely. Once you get the winch, we'll just yeah continuously get you stuck. Go so. everywhere. Yep. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>